I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is Saturday morning, the 20th of July, 2024. And this is your friend, Angus Buchan, with a thought for the day. We start off in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse 13. The Lord says, And you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all of your heart. And then we go to the book of Revelation, chapter 3 and verse 20. Jesus says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and dine with him and he with me. The handle of the door is on the inside. There's no handle on the outside. The Lord expects you and me to search for him. But he says, open the door and I will come in and sup with you and you with me. How many times have you heard the story of the young man searching for the girl of his life? And he gets on the airplane and he flies all over the world looking for this girl and comes all the way back home and she is living next door. (laughs) Has she been there all the time for him? The same thing for the young girl who wants to have a career and meet the man of her dreams, only to come all the way back and find out that he's the farmer that lives down the road. You know, Elijah was seeking for the Lord. You can read that in 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 12. And he stood at the mouth of the cave, and a mighty wind went past, and the Lord wasn't in that. Then there was a massive earthquake. The Lord wasn't in that. Then there was a fire, a huge fire. The Lord wasn't in that. And then the still, small voice spoke, and the Lord was there. So often we search for the Lord in the wrong places, don't we? You know, we go with great excitement and anticipation to a massive conference, expecting to hear from God. Or we go to a meeting, a huge stadium meeting, and we expect to hear from the Lord, but we don't. He's not found in the overseas trips. He's not found in that latest book or that movie. No, he's often found in the quietness of the closet. John Wesley went all the way to America to find God. He came all the way back disheartened, and he met him in a little Bible study in Aldersgate in London. Charles Finney, in the forest, the love of God was going through him so strongly. He said, Lord, if you don't stop, you'll kill me. Charles Haddon Spurgeon, the prince of preachers, just to get out of a snowstorm, slipped into a little country chapel and heard a farm worker bringing the gospel because the pastor wasn't there. Look unto me and be saved. That was the scripture he heard and changed his life. Today, you don't have to go overseas. You don't have to go to that big meeting. Go into the quiet place and he will speak to you there. Jesus bless you. And have a wonderful day. Goodbye.